What's up, everybody? I got some more uh, 3D prints I wanted to share to the action figure and collecting community. I got these files off of Land Speeder Luke's Patreon account, and uh, they are some trees. And I wanted to show them off to you. Um, it was one tree, which I, when slicing the software to get ready to 3D print it, you can change uh, the dimensions and size, whether it be uh, the height, the the length, um, the width. Um, so I made some that were as tall as my printer could go uh, on each one, the Flash Forge Adventure 4 and the Flash Forge Adventure 3. The Flash Forge Adventure 3 uh, doesn't have a very big capacity to print things. So I was somewhat limited on those. But uh, I did get a nice variety. Now they're black and red because those were the color filaments that I used. But I just wanted to kind of show you the texture and um, what they look like next to some figures. As you can see, I've got an Indiana Jones figure, um, a G.I. Joe figure, and I have another Indiana Jones back there in the background. And if you were doing some action figure photography, let's not use his space sculpt. All right, if you were doing some action figure photography, you can see the texture in the trees is very nice. Um, so uh, it's all about perspective. The smaller ones could be logs, uh, but uh, I'll give you a close up look here momentarily. Here is the biggest one that I was able to print. Let's see if I can get this right there. And to give you an idea, here is a six inch GI Joe figure right here. So if you're doing a diorama and you have these kind of in the background, you'll see what they look like. And I just want to show you the texture on these. And uh, you could play with the infill settings. He did have a notation that if you did not want to use infill, um, it wouldn't print like this top portion. Uh, but it would be like a hollow log. And uh, I think I did these at 10 and 5% infill, depending on the size of it. But uh, I can't wait to throw some uh, brown, different color browns on there with a black wash and to bring out the details. But there's a size. Here's another size. And this is supposed to resemble like the bark on a tree. And again, here is a six inch figure right there. Um, got, these are a little bit taller, but the width is not that big. And you can see a little bit of the infill, the honeycomb shapes up under there. So it didn't take much infill to do these. This is about the tallest I can get on my smaller printer. You can see the details a little bit better on this black filament. But yeah, you can kind of put these close up on a photo and then bring uh, some perspective in. It's just, it's all how you want to do some photography. And these, I just shortened the height on them like this to give it some like tree stumps in a forest, which kind of compacted down the texture. But uh, I'm real happy with that. I've seen so many people making different style trees for action figure photography and dioramas. And uh, it, it just, it, it, it was a lot of work to it, a lot of work to it. So I'm happy with these to utilize in uh, pictures. And I also had this, this was a whole lot smaller. And this file was also with Land Speeder Luke. But what I did was I increased the size, the width, the length, and uh, it's supposed to hold like a Star Wars bust statue. And uh, you could pretty much use these for anything like pillars, um, I'm going to use it for a statue, but I wanted it to be a taller statue, but I wanted you to see the difference in printing. The black one was on the Flash Forge Adventure 3, and the red one was on the Flash Forge Adventure 4, 
This uh, had zero supports on both, so that's why it kind of looks a little bit smoother than some of the other prints, but you can see right there in the corners, but I'm gonna try to just kind of sand that right there. But it still did great without it having any supports. But look at the top, how well that turned out on the Adventure 3 compared to that on the Adventure 4. So it's just hit or miss. So I can sand that out, but those uh, bubbles are actually raised some, and those are the the hollow po portions of uh, the infill, the honeycomb shape. But it just blows me away that the settings were identical on both printers, and you get this. So anyway, you remember in a previous video, I bought this, um, it's only got three points of articulation. You got a shoulder, a shoulder, and a neck, and that is it on articulation, which honestly works out perfect for what I wanna use it for. So this is the base, and this is the reason I bought this, was to make this a statue. Now, my intention is to paint this all gold, and uh, the whole thing to be a gold statue. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna paint the base, but it's gonna be eventually like that. And uh, let me see if I can raise this up just a little bit. All right, so it's gonna be glued on there after I paint it gold. Not sure what I wanna do the base, but uh, because the arms raise, uh, it could be all sorts of uh, poses like that for a statue, throwing his fist up. And it could be at his castle in, what is it, Scotland? And, uh, yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool right there. So I'm looking forward to doing that. If anybody has any suggestions on what color to do the base with the statue being a gold statue, please feel free to throw them in the comments. Uh, I would definitely welcome any ideas and what might look good. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm hoping they make a Baroness like this because I will definitely jump on and get a Baroness because... Uh, you know, he'll definitely have that in his Scotland castle. But um, next video I'm going to be making is another order from the Timu site. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages where that's helping other collectors find 112th scale accessories for their figures. So uh, hopefully this will be uh, some more help to the community. All right. Hope you enjoyed these uh, 3D prints. Please uh, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, and uh, take care. Later.